Welcome back. In women's soccer, you only get eight league matches to prove your point and win enough games to qualify for the four-team tournament at the end of the season. Western Illinois took a 3-0 record in league play into their match against North Dakota State on Friday, but Jordan Wallenborn and Steph Jacobson scored first-half goals. North Dakota State made that lead hold up. Wallenborn scored in the 23rd minute to make a 1-0 in her fourth goal of the year. And three minutes later, Jacobson... Doesn't get it the first or the second time, but she stays with it, puts it in, makes it 2-0 Bison. They win it 2-0. NDSU with the win improves its home record to 3-0. Jacobson feeling the flow. It's all a big circle. Nice job. They get that win. The Bison made it 4-0 at home with another win over IUPUI on Sunday. They went 89 minutes in this one without a goal. NDSU had some chances in the first half at Wallenborn off the post and then off the crossbar. They go into the 90th minute scoreless in this one. Tristan Wolzak gets the game winner on a rebound there. One to nothing Bison to get the weekend sweep and get him back in the race for the league title. Meanwhile, back to Western Illinois. The Leathernecks took that loss at NDSU on Friday. They took another defeat at South Dakota State on Sunday. They could not find the back of the net. Katie Condon just misses there for Western Illinois, and they would not get one through. SDSU got a goal in the first, uh, the final two minutes of each half. Kristen Nyblum to Courtney Higgins to Stacey Gaharo there. Fourth goal of the season to make a one to nothing Jackrabbits. And then Alyssa Brazil, a freshman from Sioux Falls, gets the other SDSU goal, her second of the season. The Rabbits get their first league win, a two to nothing victory. It's going to be tough. There's no doubt about it. And we, we unfortunately, it's it's one of those things where the future isn't totally in our hands. We've got to depend on uh, on some teams to do very specific things and very specific results through the rest of the season. Yes, the Jacks needed that win. SDSU will host the league tournament, but the Jacks are going to need a few more wins to actually qualify and actually play in that postseason tournament. Oakland took that first league loss at Kansas City on Friday. They came back with a win against South Dakota, so Oakland still on top at 4 and one with those two losses western illinois though falls into a tie for fourth right now with north dakota state we've got men's soccer and cross country from vermilion when we come back <laughs> 